trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode. We've got the interview coming up for you in just a moment or two. But before we begin, uh, don't forget uh, to hit that button and that says subscribe and then the bell. And anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified. And uh, you can uh, leave a comment on the comment section if you like. And we'd love to hear from you there. And if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV, which is our official page. And uh, feel free to uh, follow us there and comment on the things you see and also um, send us an inbox. And uh, we'll have email as well. So email us at palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And that's a good email address to use if you're a band or a solo artist that want to be on the show. And we'll show you how to do that. But we love fan mail as well. So if you're just simply a fan, send us a letter and we'll get back to you. And uh, all this will be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. From Mount Vernon, Alabama today, we got J.L. Adams, a very talented artist, and I think you're going to agree with me. And uh, we're going to get to that uh, interview in just a second because it starts right now. Okay, here we are with the interview, and with us from Mount Vernon, Alabama, we have J.L. Adams with us today. Thanks for joining us, J.L. How are you doing, Mr. Paul? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, glad you could join us today. Uh Hello. Well, why don't why don't you talk to us a little bit about how you started as an artist? Because you know everybody has their own story. Let's let's hear your story. Well, I started um, young in the church. I sung in the choir grade of Mount Olive Primitive Baptist Church, mm -hmm. and I was a lead singer in the youth choir. Um, then I just developed um, a taste for singing, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother was a singer. She was in the Jackson Southern Air. And she gave us singing lessons at night. And my mother, she she was a singer also. Um, she did a lot of Apollos and um, school singing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of grew on me. So I kind of fell off of it for a little while. And one day I was just on live, just singing. And a guy named Sir Nature Alexander reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to get on the road and use my talent. Mm. So uh, the first show I did was with him, and we were going to open up for Big Rob in Florida. And it was really fun and interesting. And I said, I could get used to this. But I was kind of shy, you know. And then he kept on working with me, so he got me out there shy spirit. Then I ran, ran into Simone D. Um, he, started get, he started coaching me. Um telling me to work on my stage presence, uh, try to get my, you know, get the fear out of my system from singing in front of group, crowds of people. Then Charles Bo Grant, um, somebody that took their time out of me, he was a backup singer for The Temptations, and then he also sang with The Platters. And he started teaching me how to sing, and uh, I just took off with it. Just, so I'm just, I'm not gonna give up on it this time, I'm gonna keep on and keep on so everybody remember my name. Mm. Oh, well, that is a great story. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned the Temptations. You know, they they were um, they're they're legends. You know, so uh, yeah. I can. They uh, were idol. Yeah, exactly. Um, were there any other bands that you uh, enjoyed uh, getting inspired by when you were younger as well, besides the Temptations? <laughs> um, Jodeci. Mm -hmm. uh, five heartbeats. Um. Uh. Like I said, the Temptation, Jodeci, Five Heartbeats, uh, Boston Men, um, especially James Brown. Mm -hmm. So I know that there'll never be a king of soul ever, and he made a name for his, himself here that's still in around. I also listened to a little Elvis Presley, uh, the Beatles, um, Church Hill, you know, different genres of music. I just don't stick with one. So I listen to a little country, a little blues, a little R&B. Mm -hmm. And I am trying to create my own style and be in my own way. Yeah, uh, and that's what we do here at Paul Mash TV. We do all genres on the show. And uh, 
Yeah, and like you mentioned, Boyce to Man, James Brown, you know, uh, they're, they're definitely legends as well. And uh, and I can see why you pick them as uh, some of your inspirations. Um, if if somebody was watching this right now, wanted to download your music, how would they do it? Is it all streaming platforms? Uh, where's your social media at, too? I'm on Spotify, iTunes, um, Apple Music, and Apple, Amazon. Also, these are music. Okay. Well, what about your social media? Are you on Facebook, Instagram, so forth? Facebook, uh, JL Adams. Um, Instagram, JL Adams 82. Uh, TikTok, uh, JL Adams. So TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Okay. Well, everybody get out there to your favorite streaming site and all your favorite social media sites and look them up. I know he would appreciate that. And uh, we're going to watch this music video from you. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about it and what the title of it is. <laughs> um, Mr. DJ, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time when you go in a club, it's kind of, some club are dull. Everybody, you know, people don't like to dance. Uh, the guys be shy. Most like, mostly it'd be women on the floor. And all the guys just be standing up on the wall. And... And my vision, when I created Mr. DJ, uh, Chris Beckham, who produced the song, and my vision, um, I would like everybody on the floor dancing, smiling, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's that's the concept of that song. Mm, okay. And you said the title was Mr. DJ, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a great song, too. And uh, I know everybody out there is going to love it as well. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But uh, JL, thank you so much for being on the show. We'd love to have you back a second time if you'd like to come back. I would love to, Mr. Paul. Okay. Well, here it is, Mr. DJ by JL Adams, and it starts right now. Yeah, praise. Flip that track. Everybody's talking about it. 